Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 as the Army Man Empire, so we're going to continue on from where we last left off. So I was wondering, like, did we just delay the war? How long would it take for 0.2? If it's 0.02, that'd be like 10 months. It'll take like a year and a half for us to get down to enough infamy to take it, like, to take it, to take a state from Austria with no threat whatsoever from foreign invasion. But maybe that's not as much fun. Is there... Well, all we can do is acquire state. Free people. Like, liberate country. Nah, it's humiliate we can do. Just get more prestige, but that doesn't really help us too much, I think. And these guys don't... They don't have any colonies. They have nothing else that we can take from them. Other than, like... I mean, technically Russia has colonies. But... They're, like, here. And they're on the border with China. I don't know. It's just weird. I don't want to take any of that. But, like, we could just... Do you want to just, like, take, like, the rest of Bohemia? Like, we, we totally could. It'd be... And, uh... No, okay. I'm not gonna do it. I think it's just a little bit too cheap. But, actually, we can just keep the war going. Not even, like, not even just for ourselves. And just, just to give Italy more cores. They can take the rest of their territory back. This will, one, weaken Austria, which will also, in turn, weaken Germany. But if Germany intervenes in this war, we might have a little bit of a problem. But German can Germany intervene in the war? I'm a mat. One sec. I forgot to go on to do not disturb mode. Anyway, can Germany intervene in this war? I don't know. Is the only thing I can say about this. Look how awesome the the Ottoman battleships are. Oh, we're actually being attacked here. Surprisingly. Oh, we're actually taking some pretty bad casualties, so... I'm just gonna split our troops up a little bit. And we still- oh yeah, we do have this guy over here, over here in, uh, Hungary. So do we just want... Yeah, I think we're just gonna let the war just keep going. Are we building more troops? I completely forgot. We are building troops, I think, in- for Europe. So I don't know what we're actually going to do with that guy. Oh no, what are you? You're the- oh no, don't hunt rebels. Hunting rebels does nothing for us right now. Are you- no, okay, we need to siege this province down. No, we'll actually just attack this guy. You know, kill a lot of their troops. Defend the border. But it's like- Actually, is-, is who's the war leader? Is Austria still the war leader? Yes, they are. Because if Russia was the war leader, I don't think Germany could intervene, but they can still intervene. And that's the, that's the scary part right now. Also, I think I might have lost like a lot of troops in training. We won another battle. I don't know how these troops got down here, but let's make sure, you know, we kill them all. Yeah, that was pretty easy. I would, I would love if, um... I mean, I'm, I'm kind of waiting just for Italy... Or not, yeah, Italy, to add more uh, war goals. No, okay, go go here, and then there, yes. Our troops might just win anyways without our, you know, reinforcements. Oh, okay. They're going to try to kill our brand new stack. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Just go. Oh, they killed my new, my new troop. That's, that's, come on now. Austria. There's got no, I need more than self to roll. Also, wait, why are you at 39,000? Oh, no, that's because the... These guys were on top of us. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, we're actually gonna lose a battle. Oh, we're actually gonna lose a battle. Oh, they have, hu we have huge penalties against them. Okay. Okay, we can retreat. Like, I know we can just take Cell to roll, but I don't want to take Cell to roll right now. Yeah, our troops are reinforcing pretty quickly. Do we not have more European... Oh, we do have another European army. I keep forgetting about this guy. Over here in Hungary. He's doing a good number. More farming efficiency, fantastic. We just make sure... We just want to make sure that we don't lose, you know... Lose more territory, lose more troops than we need to. Of course, though, you know, the best amount of troops you can lose is absolutely zero. I'm surprised they're not adding more war goals. 
I'm I don't know why they're not. Oh wait! Oh no, I was looking at this, I only saw three countries, and I thought this war with uh, Sikkim has ended. But no, no, it, it's, it's still going. It is still going. Oh, so we have 39 troops here. I don't know why. It's because I think we have an extra cannon. I don't know where this extra cannon came from. Oh, Istanbul, you're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be in Europe, so I'm going to send you up there. We well, just kind of hang out in Istanbul. And let's cancel every single troop that's being built. Because I don't trust... You know, I'm pretty sure this entire area is just going to get sieged down or something at some point. So where is this? This is in the mountains, and that's, like, really bad for us. They are still sieging our stuff down, but I'm not too worried about it. I mean, why would I really be worried about it? Okay, that's almost sieged down. Oh, wait, the game's paused, so it'll actually never finish. Farming efficiency, fantastic. We got that province then. The Italians are moving quickly through Austria. Germany's still not going to help them out at all. If we just peace... Oh, no, yeah, there's a second war goal from Italy. Which is good, because that's what I wanted. Oh, now that they've actually moved, we can probably attack them much easier. Or much more easily. Because they do not have a huge dig-in bonus. Yeah, there we go. Those are the numbers I like to see. So yeah, we'll just go here. Select this troop. Go over there. Siege both of them down at once. Sweden is actually doing a number over here. We still have the entire Russian border defended. You do not need to be there. So I guess you go up to here to Sinop. Actually, I guess it would make more sense probably for you to go on the... Uh, the Persian border. This other, like your entire border is absolutely defended very, very well. And this, this troop's just kind of hanging out. You can't really do anything. Also, we're not researching anything. Is there a way to see how many troop points we have in reserve? Probably, but I don't know how to do it right now. And we're actually two years from getting more military techs. Yeah, let's we'll see. I, I highly doubt we hit the limit. I'm kind of bad at actually paying attention to this. Even though we get a pop-up right in the middle of the screen saying, Hey, you know, your research is done. Okay. 1403, next month... Well, the month after next month, we'll add our war goal. Because I just want to be 100% safe. Just 100%. 14, there we go. Add a war goal. Even though it says it's supposed to be plus 0.1, does the plus 0.1 does not work? Weird. Okay, I'm going to acquire straight state. Which one did I want again? I think I wanted this one. It's five, one, two, it's actually six provinces. It connects to our borders. Yeah, that just seems like a good one. Uh, Trans Danubia. Add, add acquire state. Trans Danubia. 54 war score. Oh, this is expensive. How much is our current? 34. We could do it. Trans Danubia, Trans Danubia, right there. Yeah, that'll almost max it out, and we'll see if maybe now the AI will, or Austria will surrender it to us. This troop needs to reinforce. Is there, uh, there's a lot of yellow. There's actually troops missing from this guy as well. So we actually just need to outright reinforce number six with brand new troops. You know, European Army 2 just risen. Oh, okay, now there's See, I would love the peace out now while the rebels have just risen up. They would not accept, though. 82, and we are at... No, we're at 82%. My 82... Oh, no, this is at 88. My bad. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna avoid the, the rebels, because I don't want to fight the rebels. I want the rebels to break... You know... Oh, no, but never mind. Germany's just gonna come in here anyway, so I guess it didn't make any difference whatsoever what we did. Give me acquire, acquire, acquire. One, like, I know I'm, I'm weird. I just like sending the demands since I know 100%. Yeah, there we go. Send demands. The Ottoman Empire is looking a little bit weird. Our name doesn't actually even appear here anymore because of just the way it would make our name have to curve. Which is, you know, it's a little bit funny. Yeah, but there we go. Got a little bit more land. Now we got, now our, our border protect is actually a lot bigger. 
Hey, I'll just kind of defend everything. And these guys are, what are they mostly? They're mostly Hungarians. You got some South Germans, some Slovaks. I mean, we can already see what factories are already in here. There is the factory, yes, yeah, right here. Artillery, die, telephone, machine. Yeah, that seems like pretty decent in Transdanubia. Production, I'd probably go by factory. Transdanubia, it's right, it's right here. I'm gonna just, once, once again, I just wanna upgrade as much things as possible. We can lower down military spending by quite a bit. So you don't really need it right now. Yeah, and there we go. We've we've almost just, you know, split Austria right in half. We haven't we haven't done it quite yet. I would love to actually annex Serbia. As weird as that sounds, annexing Serbia could be probably be like pretty good for us. Once again, just just for a pretty border, just so I can take this and just kind of do that. It, it would look nice. Or at least, you know, sphere or satellite Serbia. One of them. Also, there's some more ones. Pause, pause. Germany's backing Austria-Hungary for the crisis that would free two? Serbia. Oh, it's Serbia against... Can I just, can I just stay out? Oh, because I'm still at war. I don't have to worry about it. Fantastic. Okay. Because I'm still, I'm still technically at war with... Oh, that's probably why, um... That didn't go down by point one or point oh eight or whatever it's supposed to. Oh yeah, Britain, I still need I still need military access from you. No, it's actually worse now. Infamy. Okay. Japan, just end that war. Just 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 end the war. Please. That would be awesome if you did that. There's this yeah, there's just German troops over here that are just kind of hiding out. Build more troops in Europe. Well we need to actually build a cannon and an infantry here just to get this back up to where it's supposed to be so build a cannon build an infantry oh wait no we already have a cannon the Istanbul cannon I don't know where that cannon came from actually but I'm fine with it yeah you just go back let's go reinforce that we can see if we can build another Asian army now we can build five we can build six troops in Africa are we I mean both of oh the third army here actually is not named you are Asian Army 9, I think. Army 9. Yeah, that's, that seems... That seems about right. And the first army is nothing, so don't don't worry about it. Latvia... Oh, ho, ho. Bannit... Look how, clo look how close we get. You're at, like, 79 before 95 this time. We're getting crazy numbers. Spain... Is, is Britain actually trying to get them now? Oh, they are spending points. We're just going to ban the British Embassy because I don't want to deal with them right now. Spend a little bit of points into that. And other than that, like, who could be in our sphere that's not currently in our sphere? Persia. Oh, Sweden, actually, could be a good sphere, like a sphere link. Oh, but they're already friendly with Italy, and they already have 50 points. Yeah, that probably isn't going to work out as well as I would like it to. How about, like, Brazil? Friendly with the United States, friendly with Britain. How about Peru? Cordial, neutral, is kind of around the board. But I don't really want to, like, Dynam. Let's get, you want to get Dynam back into our sphere? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get Dynam back into our sphere. Back where they rightfully belong before I think they had, like, some sort of revolution. Well, something happened with uh, Dynam that I lost my sphere. Was that because of the Great War? It might have been, but I think it was actually before that. But I might, you know, be 100% wrong. Let's see, is there any projects going on? There are. Build railroads, liquor distilleries. Where? Oh yeah, well, let's, let's, like, let's crank out railroads right now. Who doesn't love railroads? Everybody loves railroads, so. Railroads here, expand. Yeah, truly says whatever. Railroads! Yay! Railroads for everybody. Spain won't let us build railroads in our territory. Persia will, though. Which will mean that if I need to sphere them later, it'll make it easier for us and harder for others. I think it's just mostly me and Britain who are throwing money. Well, it's mostly me. Britain's throwing a little bit. We're just throwing money at Persia right now. Is there anybody... Oh, wait. We can also build railroads or new territories. Fantastic. Are you... No, you're Austria. I don't want to spend money on you. That just seems like a waste of money. 
So we need we need a tech that will not take until the end of the year. So what's fast? Diplomatic responsibility? Yeah, that sounds like it'll be done probably by like December. Oh, it'll actually be done by July. Okay, well apparently I'm just bad at guessing how long these things will take. Much faster than I originally thought, apparently. Oh, but then after that we can get new unit models that'll look just as nice as the German ones. Let's see, look how look how nice these German models are in comparison to our models. Our models aren't that pretty looking, but their models are beautiful. I paid money for those models, so. Machine parts have been built. Combine. Yeah, I know places are still red. Actually, speaking of that, we should probably try to get soldiers in all of these territories. Because, like, most of our soldiers here are fine. Like, recruitment in those areas is absolutely A-OK. -okay. Soldiers over here, though, are not looking as good. It's Croatia, build more troops. And we have seven. I don't think we're using all seven. Even Albania could probably use some troops, so we'll do that. Yeah, and there we go. Just encourage soldiers all over our place. Reinforce as much as we possibly need to. And then we'll probably have more troops. Like, we can already build six more troops here in Europe, so I think we might as well get started. But I think we were trying to do that before, and then this kind of went bad. And we can even start building another thing in Asia. Yeah, it'll all work out. It'll all work out perfectly, assuming nobody from Asia is trying to go into Europe, which they're not, so that's good. Dynam, we can get up to, like, Cordial, I'm assuming. Yeah, there we go, Cordial. How is our Dynam Cordial? Cordial friendly. Friendly at 65. How about we just... Oh, we can't ban quite yet. We can expel your advisors, but that's nowhere near as... Oh, no. If you're that close, I think I'm just going to expel your advisors. Get out of here. Nej neutral. And Spain... Spain, Spain, Italy. We need to make sure the Italy, Italians do not take Spain from us. I mean, we don't... It's not like it's, you know, of the utmost importance, but... Having Spain in our sphere would be, you know, quite useful. Once we get up to 65, that should be easy and dealt with. Greece, I don't need to worry about too much quite yet. We probably will need to worry about them a little bit in the future. Rock in the cradle. Now we'll get signed to, like, a bit more. This war just will not end. Ah, it's so stupid. Anyway, I'm going to end the war. Or, not to end the war. I'm going to end the video here. So, thanks everybody for watching. My name's been Anthony. If you have enjoyed, remember the thumbs up. If you did not enjoy, you can always thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.